Hey guys, all gamers here with another video, and today we are playing Ori and the Blind Forest again. Let's see where we left off so we can start again. We do not have any experience points to spend, so we're not going to bother with that at all. Um, I'm not going to be able to get up there yet, so let's see if I can continue down there to chase the Gumo or Gumon, as people, as I kind of saw on the video. Um, has gone to so we can get the light back so we can ultimately save the Jin Jinso tree and get further progressing in the game. Uh, wrong button. Derp. Saved! Nice. Um, let's see where we are. So the Gumon is down there and there are some points I missed but I cannot get that yet because I did not upgrade. Okay, sorry for that jump cut. I had some extreme lag and died as a result of it, so... Let's just go down this time, because I gone left and that caused me some pretty annoying lag spikes. If I get more lag later in the game, I will have to turn down these settings quite a bit. Uh, yeah, that's not very good, but it's yeah, I, I can't do much about it, because... I do have a gaming computer, but it's not the best computer on the market either. So you can't expect me to have some extremely good performance on some of these games. But I did not expect to get serious lag out of this game right now. But yeah, um, we'll have to go on down here first. And that will hurt. Gimo's hideout. So they first called a Gumon, but that's like the species then. And then they called a Gumo because that's the name of this specific creature. Okay, that that's interesting. Let's save here and hope I get some blue points soon. So otherwise that's going to be a bit disastrous. Okay, there's a blue point here. Do we have any information on this earth map? No we do not. Let's see if there's anything down here. Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to go down, would you? Okay, so there's definitely a map piece there. But it's going to be hard to get there without the double jump, but let's try anyway. Ouch, that hurt. Oh my, oh my. Okay, I found a map stone fragment, which I can place back in the map stone key thing. Okay, this is going to be hard to not get hit endlessly by. Well, okay, I survived, that's fine. And I'm locked in with the Gumo. I didn't actually expect to be here with the Gumo. Okay. Oh, we're not locked in with the Gumo, we're locked in with this nasty thing. Which is a lot easier to fight if you do this. Yeah, that, that, that worked surprisingly well. Okay, but that Kimo is really mean for sending us, for locking us up with this thing. That's just rude. Rude. Nah. It's the game though, you have to, like, have bosses and such to create the game and make it enjoyable to play at all times. So I understand, but it's like, that is just rude. You could have just taken that another way, like make it a natural enemy instead of make the creature cause that. Because that's just portraying a creature in a certain way. Not like worried anymore, it has been portrayed before, but more in a sense of it being very harmful. And its intentions as well. Oh shit. Well I did that amazingly, did I? Okay, that's better. Oh. Let me... Nope. <laughs> Hold up. Okay. Now I need to watch out. Not get crushed. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're getting through. We're getting through. Just fine. So let's watch out for that thing. Not to jump on our face. Because that would be rather uncomfortable, would it? We're almost at a new experience point level. Boy spider. And save. I'm pretty sure there is something down here. Oh yeah, uh, that's going to be hard to get without the double jump. Okay, I got it. Okay, never mind. That was actually a lot easier than I had imagined. So we can go through there 
now. Goodbye, door. You've been defeated. Is this a good idea? I, I don't think so, but... I'm pretty sure I should have gotten the double jump before I did this section. But... Let's see, anyway. What we can do here. Yeah, this is going to be disastrous. Safe, because then I'll we'll be able to get some points back, maybe. No? Yeah, okay, good. Um, okay, let's continue on. I have no clue if we're going the right direction right now, but... There's stuff here, so... Oh, no! Okay, I'm happy I saved there. <laughs> oh, my. Um, I don't really know what to say at this point, because it's just annoying how some of these enemies just ch take a jump at you from a place you cannot really see where they're coming from or where they're going. Let's see what's this. Oh, it's the, uh, it's an upgrade thing. An ancestral tree, Liru, lay here. She was swift, agile, and used to cut through air. Okay, um, let's see what that gives me. I'm kind of um, curious to what it will give me, to be, to be honest. We learned double jump. Okay, okay, so where we're supposed to go here, it's actually that we just learned double jump here. Okay, that makes a lot more sense than if you actually think about it. Oh, damn it. Oh, goodness, that was not good. Okay, let's save here and see if we can actually already spend that ability point. Oh, hi, Kimo. Um, What button? But I, I want to spend my ability point here. Hello? Keys? Respawn, please. Okay, got it. Um... This tree has some really useful effect, and this tree has some useful effects, and this tree is basically strength increase. So they're all really useful, but I want to get the swimming wall of breath one, because that one will be really important soon. Allows Ori to dash in the air. What? Wait, what? Oh, that requires two ability points as well. Okay, never mind then. Okay, this will be a lot easier to go up here than to go down just a second ago. If I don't feel my jumps, that is. Okay, that was pretty smart use of the way that was going. Okay, let's kill this and not get killed by this at this point in time and get the experience back from that. Because any experience is good experience in this game. Because you will run out of uh, good strategies really soon, because you are not a strong creature by any means in this game. Which, yes, it can be annoying at times, but it's not game-breakingly difficult or something. It's just that you need to be really careful with how you spend all your points. Oh, man! Well, that had gone great, didn't it? Oh, I forgot the blue point. Jeez! I'm doing balls. Let's just kill this thing very quickly before I get any trouble again. And continue upwards. Let's just ignore that one for now. Because I first need to be able to get over this damn thing. Oh no, one of these. These are hard to kill, especially if you don't have the upgrades in power yet. As I said, these are hard to kill. Great! I may make some jump cuts in this section, because it's going to be really annoying to watch all of this take place constantly. Uh, over and over again. I could just save here as well. Let's hope that does not give me issues with that enemy if I load it back in. Uh, it might, but I'll see if that comes into play. I hope it doesn't. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to go over to the other side do that again to see if I can minimize the amount of damage I'm taking here. Okay, that gone pretty well if I say so. Oh, we got another blue point. I'm quite happy I got up here then. And we're back down here. Safe and destroy and save. Okay, that seems to be a good strategy whenever you arrive at the blue points. So now we're able to go up here and collect that. 
which is a basically an energy container. Ooh, that is a surprisingly difficult jump. Let's first get there and then okay, that's easier. Um save. I'm just going to save a whole bunch of times here. Because I know I'll be failing so much here. I just know it. Goodbye, spider. Who even likes spiders? Like okay, they're useful, but I guess people can like spiders, but it's not. No, I don't. I don't like spiders. I just. Ugh, I'm a bit arachnophobic in that sense. Yeah, I knew that would be possible. Oh, I thought that was a full container. It was not, definitely. Okay, let's first see what's down on the right, because I have a feeling that it's the pathway we need to go through anyway. Uh, jump. Okay, good. <laughs> I kind of forgot how to do that for a second and nearly died there. I actually do not know how to dash in the air. I only know that because I unlocked the... oh no, I did not unlock the air dash yet. Okay, never mind, that makes a lot more sense. Um, what's down here? I do not think I have anything for that. Oh, I have three. Let's first see if I can get this. Oh no. Okay, okay, I survived that barely. That was actually pretty scary. It's just that they make this for the triple jump piece, I think. So that's pretty annoying in a sense. I need to save. Uh, go to my save point now. Or make a save point so I can air dash. I just don't know how to. How to, like, do the air dash. Let, let, let me see if I can find anything. Air dash allows Ori to dash in the air. Wait, what? Let me ch let me check my keys. Uh, keyboard. Um, control. But that's not working. Okay, I know why that is not working because I have my paddles from Omsi plugged in, which basically breaks that feature of the game. It's sad, but it's not really anything I can do about it at this point. Let's see... Oh, goodness, that scared me. Okay, so I, all I need to do here is... Um, I'm going to need to be blocking this from the other... Oh, goodness. Okay, that's great. Oh, god, I have to sneeze. <coughs> okay, that's... Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Always have to sneeze on camera. Well, it's not on camera, but I like on video recording, you know what I mean. Um, that's not great. <laughs> I'm not all too happy with that, but it's not really anything I can do about it either. So now... I'll have to... Yeah, that's not going to... That's not going to save me if I <laughs> want to go down. So I have to go back up. And that should almost be it already for this video because I have limited recording time today. Um, let me quickly go left and then that is probably it for today. On Ori at least. I might do some other recordings like later in the evening. It's like midday now when I'm recording this for once. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get through this very quickly and then just cut it off. Also, something I noticed is there is a new episode of The Walking Dead. I actually did play, but not for YouTube, the first two Walking Dead games. Would you guys like me to do a full let's play of The Walking Dead of all three seasons that are out now? Um, except for Michonne, because that one is not connected to the other storylines at all, and I do not see a reason to do Michonne, especially considering its mediocre quality. Oh goodness, it is harder than it looks, just saying. 
<gasps> okay, that was extremely close. I actually got scared there for a second. But yeah, would you guys like me to do a Let's Play on The Walking Dead as in the full game? Or would you um, rather see just the new episode or would you rather not see it at all? Like that's the question right now that I'm stuck with. Oh no. I'm happy I saved here. And save again to save the points there. Um, so, that's pretty much the question. Would you guys like to see The Walking Dead Season 3 on this channel? And if so, would you guys like to see Season 1 and 2 as well? Or would you all prefer not to have The Walking Dead on this channel? That is the question right now. If you have an answer to that, please put it in the comments so I can um, see what the people watching my videos want to see. I'll also ask a question again in an upcoming episode of Minecraft minigames. Yes, that will be continuing as well. Um, just to make sure I reach all my viewers and possibly also the OMC videos because um, I have different audiences for all my videos of different themes and I know that up front. I know there's not much following for Ori in the Blind Forest, so it's probably not the best idea to um, to ask it here, but yeah, I I I just ask it. I just ask it anyway. So if you guys have an opinion on what I should do with that, I'll gladly hear it and take it into consideration. Just do you know I cannot buy endless games, so because I have a tight budget, I'm not. I do not have a great budget. Especially as um, I have a microphone on order, a Blue Yeti, actually. So the audio quality of my videos soon should be getting a lot better. So look forward to that as well. No further, I do not know much to do right now because I just need to finish this really hard section of game and get this over with and then end the video where that's appropriate. Let's oh let's oh it's trapped. And we saved it. Why? I would I do that? Would I do that if I was it if I was Ori? I don't know. I don't know if I would do that. I know there's something up here. That is actually a full ability point, that's pretty good. Let's save here quickly and jump down there. Ori brought kindness and hope to his heart. Okay, I can see where this is going now. Okay, um, we're almost at the Jinso tree. Oh, that's very kind. We now got the water vein. Remember the element? Of, uh, we got an achievement. Let's be friends. Remember the world. The element of water rests high atop the Jinsu tree. We shall bring back the waters. Let us return immediately. So, we need to go up there. Yeah, I'll be saving that for the next episode. And I'm going to save here. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And you enjoy my videos. Because I don't usually ask this. And once in a while I will. Because... It's just something. People do not always realize that channels need to get subscribers to grow and reach more people and be uh, enjoyable for more people. So that's just a message I want to give right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!